Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH BTC. So the ETH BTC pair, why is that one relevant? Well, it can be relevant, for example, to make strategic decisions or it can be helpful to make strategic decisions about uh, what kind of portfolio allocation yeah, um, someone has. For example, if you have ETH and BTC in the portfolio, you can use the ETH BTC pair or chart to decide if you want to have more or less ETH compared to Bitcoin in your portfolio. Basically, when this chart here goes up, it means that Ethereum is performing better than Bitcoin. If this chart goes down, it shows that Bitcoin is performing better than Ethereum. Okay, so um, at the moment, it seems like, and I've been saying that for many time, for, for many weeks and, and months actually, seems like that the rewards here are certainly more on the side of ETH because the next rally higher could take us to around, why not establish that target? Let's just do that now. The next wave to the upside, and I expect there should be one, at least as long as we are holding above 0.047. Below that level, it will start to break, but until then, we should be able to go higher off the current lows. I mean, we'd be looking at something around point, yeah, maybe 0.10. 0.095 so that's going to be an important level when we get up here into this region so it would be a substantial rally this can take some time on this chart and the idea has been over the recent weeks and months that we would come down lower we did come down lower and that we would even potentially make one more lower low below the june low now when we hit down here on this um, sell-off day here on wednesday thursday it was when we came down, saw that reversal candle, I already indicated to channel members on Discord and Telegram that we might have a low in place already. However, that I cannot really confirm that until Bitcoin, uh, no, not Bitcoin, but ETH BTC maintains and sustains above 0.065, that 50% retracement level. Only a break above that would give me some evidence that a low has already been struck. It would be a five wave move down in a C wave and I would have to assume that this is a so-called truncated fifth wave. So basically indicates that, um, yeah, that it was not able in an orderly fashion to complete this correction. This sometimes happens when you have some yeah, rapid sentiment shifts, for example, in the market. And we certainly had that on our sell off day here, that liquidation event. But I am still very careful. I'm not uh, calling a low in place here, but I'm highlighting that this could very much have been the low. I wouldn't be unhappy about it, but it would need to break above 0.065. And if it's doing, doing that, it would um, shift the expectations towards Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin over the coming months. I think this will be something that will take a while. So now don't get me wrong, it's not like we are shifting expectations. We have that expectation that ETH is going to outperform Bitcoin. However, um, so far, obviously, we have been looking at potentially lower and this could be a trend reversal. But again, I think the level to watch for is 0.065. Now, don't get all crazy about it. If price gets above 0.066 already, um, it would need to sustain above that level to make it really a likely scenario that we're moving up in this C wave. Okay, That would be quite a strong um, rally, potentially. Something similar that we've had here. Um, which moved into similar target ranges, 0.088, yeah, this rally between June 22 and September 22. So yeah, it's very, potentially the low is already in. So all I can point out here is the potential at this stage. I told you what downside targets, well, downside targets, actually, if we make one more low, then at least 0.059. But yeah, I called, um, I called out the relevant resistances and potential downside expectations if we make one more low. But overall, I would not be unhappy if a low is already in. Certainly that reversal candle is something to watch. Yeah, that's my update about ETH BTC. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.